The demonstration kit you see before you, featuring Eaton's E67 series sensor family, will help you understand how key performance features of this sensor are important to OEM customers in a variety of industrial applications. Used in challenging industrial applications, ranging from industrial stretch wrappers to pulp, paper, and printing machinery, and sheet metal stamping equipment, the E67 series sensor is capable of detecting a wide range of targets with great accuracy at extended distances. In this video, you'll see Eaton's senior applications engineer Jim Streckenbach discussing two important elements of sensor performance in these applications and comparing similar sensors from different manufacturers to Eaton's E67 Long Range Perfect Procs. In the first part of the demonstration, you'll see the application of a concept known as black-white ratio. This is relevant to sensors in this category because it shows how well various sensors perform when the end user of an OEM's equipment decides to vary the product that runs through the machine. Traditional long-range diffuse type sensors may see a very reflective white target quite well, but they lose the target when it's darker or less reflective. In this way, a simple change of packaging materials by an end user can render a piece of OEM equipment inoperative simply because the sensors can no longer see the product going through the machine. A powerful sensor like Eaton's E67 series solves that problem by sensing light and dark targets with nearly equal accuracy, a capability you'll see demonstrated today. We have a demonstration here showing our E67 long range perfect procs against a banner fixed field version and a SICK optic background suppression sensor. The terms fixed field, background suppression, and perfect procs all refer to the same type of sensor, a sensor that sees out to a certain distance and its ability to sense objects beyond that point drops very rapidly. I'm going to be doing this demo showing you the difference between seeing a white target and a dark or a black target here and reference to a tape measure here so you can see the superiority of the E67 sensor and its ability to see these colored objects at virtually the same range. Okay, these sensors are calibrated to sense this white target out to approximately five foot distance. We'll start with the white target first. Bring her in until we turn on here. Okay, the banner unit, there we are, five foot range. Of course, as we get closer, of course they stay on, have no problem with that. Now let's show the difference between looking with the dark target. Dark target, here we are at five feet, look at this. We are seeing the dark colored target at virtually the same distance as we were seeing the white target. Let's see how far we have to move in before the banner and the sick unit pick up. Okay, here we are. Okay, banner picks up at four feet. Sick unit picks up at virtually about the same thing, about three and a half feet. So, we pick up one foot sooner or virtually the same distance that we we're calibrated to see the white target. Once again, here we go to white. There's everybody's on. Here's the black target. Our sensor is still on, virtually at the same distance. The incredible E67 long range perfect procs. Okay, one other thing here is that these sensors have great background suppression ability, but I want you to again see the superiority of our E67 over our competitor's unit. As a way to duplicate a extremely difficult to ignore background surface, I have a strip of prismatic retroreflector tape material here. I'm going to use this, which is thousands of times more reflective than a piece of white paper. I'm going to show you the problem that you can run into with people maybe with wearing uh, security clothing or something for safety where they have reflectors on there to show up at night. Let's take a look at this. Here we go. You'll notice that the sick and the banner unit, even here I'm a number of feet away from the sensor. I'm coming closer to the camera here. I'm back a good 20 feet away from the sensors and you can see I'm having a problem ignoring those targets with my banner and sick unit. Come up to our sensor, again, no problems. He's turned off, staying off.
Again, just showing you a quick shot of the superior background suppression ability of our E67 long range procs compared to our competitors to highly specular background surfaces. I hope this demo gave you an opportunity to see the superior performance of the ability to see black or white targets with our E67 long range perfect procs with virtually small differences in distance change. I'd also like to point out our Sensing Solutions product guide, the new 2011 issue, volume number eight in the array of catalogs you have available to you, thousands of solutions with a variety of great products in our, in our line here. Thank you.